Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the unknown USB device descriptor request failed error that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in device manager. Best result should come back with device manager. So go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the Universal Serial Bus Controller section near the bottom. It's just by double-clicking on it or selecting the little arrow next to it. And then you want to right-click on all the USB devices in here, let's say USB in them, and select Update Driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers, and then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the one that's applicable for your computer. If you have multiple, select the manufacturer-specific one over a generic driver. And you would select Next. So I close, and you do that for all of them in here. Something else I'd also recommend trying would be to make sure your USB device is working properly. So go ahead and plug it into a different computer and see if it's working on that computer. If it's not working on that device as well, it's likely an issue with the USB flash drive itself and not with the computer. So something else to try. So anyway, once you're done actually updating all these drivers, I would suggest restarting your device. And something else I recommend trying as well would be to run the hardware and devices troubleshooting utility. So that's designed, like in the title suggests, to resolve hardware related issues. So go ahead and open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now go ahead and copy a command I'm going to have in the description of the video. It's the msdt.exe. And this is going to launch the troubleshooting utility, so go ahead and copy that whole command. Right-click on the top bar of the command prompt window once you're done with copying it. Select Edit, and then paste it in. You can close out of the command prompt window this time. So troubleshoot and help prevent computer problems, hardware and devices. Find and fix problems with devices and hardware. Select the Advanced button, and make sure to check mark to apply repairs automatically. And select Next. I recommend following along with any prompts here of suggestions it makes. Okay, so once that's done, you see that it did fix something, which is good. So go ahead and close out of here. Something else I'd recommend doing as well would be to open up the search menu and type in power. Underneath settings, select edit power plan. And then you want to select change advanced power settings. Underneath USB settings, click the little plus sign next to it. And then where it says USB selective suspend setting, click the little plus sign after that again. And you want to set this to disabled. So if it says enabled, click where it says enabled, and it'll open up a drop down that wasn't visible before. Click inside of there and select disabled, and then select apply and okay. And then once you're done with that, close out of here and restart your device. And then hopefully your issue should have been resolved. 
So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.